Welcome back guys to Matt Cart. We've got another Goodwill bins video today. We're not doing any garage sales or thrift stores. We haven't really done any garage sales for a while now. It's unfortunate that they spread out the community so far. So that's why we're kind of stuck at the bins, which is okay because we've been pulling fire lately at the Goodwill bins. So super happy about that because we might get some better scores even today. You never know. I don't want to jinx it, but you just never know. We're going to grab some coffees and then we're going to be on our way. A single stitch t-shirt here. Look at that tag. Local color art clothes. Try this on. It fits by it. Juanita. Juanita. I don't know how you guys pronounce that, but it is single stitch all over print. Kind of cool. I don't know. I'm going to keep it into the cart for now and assess whether or not I want it when we leave because t-shirts are not going to be that hot because we are heading to the fall winter season. So I'd have to hold on to this for a while before it probably sells, but still pretty cool all over print. So I did find some vintage hats, uh, one dead stock starter, Super Bowl 2000, really cool. And then uh, this John Deere, I thought it was a good score and then I opened that up and look at that, that's absolutely disgusting. Might be our best clothing score of the day. It's an uh, Arcteric shirt. Uh, I know they don't sell quite the way. I know they don't really sell like the jackets or like nice pants or anything like that. But I mean, it's still, it's interesting. Definitely uh, an interesting score, nonetheless. I don't know what this would even go for. What twenty-five, maybe thirty dollars? I don't know. It's women's too, so I know there's not as much demand. So we just got two Pokemon plush out of the plush bin, and uh, one of them is actually really cool. It's not the Charmander, it's actually the Luffy One Piece Pikachu. We're just trying to find some comps on it. $26, $20, so it's not really expensive, but we did have a Mario plush before it sold really well, so there you go, 33 It says brand new. Yeah, brand new, yeah. So it's not super old yet, so still, people collect those types of Pikachus, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Not bad, I'm sure we can get like 25 bucks for it, but yeah, we also got the Charmander, so we're gonna throw these into the bin. This is what we get for the plates today, guys. Okay, uh, yeah. uh, yeah. 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 wow. Uh, so much for media. Uh, we might keep this though for shipping supplies. I don't know, maybe, I don't know. It's, I mean, it's bubble mailers. We might need these. Yeah, here, I'll, I'll grab them, yeah. Last poll from today, Tupac. This is my story of resurrection. Not single stitch, so it's a reprint, but still might be fairly old. Maybe like uh, early 2000s, I'm not really sure. We have to do some research on that, but that's pretty sick. All right, what are we looking at? Only four pounds today? Holy crap, that is light. Okay, so this Tupac shirt, we were just curious on the ride home whether or not this was actually vintage because we did find a long sleeve single stitch shirt and an older like early 2000s Timberland shirt as well right with this is in the pile so I don't know it's got a slightly longer neck which is definitely an indication of vintage just doesn't have a tag and uh, it is double stitch but that doesn't necessarily mean 
that it isn't vintage. Now, like my wife was just looking at some uh, $320. I'm not sure if that is the same one out of stock. Yeah, this is wild. Some of the comps are like $400 plus, 160 there. Um, really interesting. I want to do more research on this, but I do know like Tupac shirts in general, they're really, really trendy and, and they're hot right now. So hot right now. Uh, they're definitely one of the best uh, vintage shirts you can actually grab on the market are like, it's like a really good rap tee and Tupac is like one of the rap gods, right? So yeah, we're going to talk about this more along with our haul. Jeez, you can't even say anything so whited out uh, as we get inside. Okay, we are back from the Goodwill bins and it was weird. I said to stay just for one more bin just because we have been getting good luck today. And then the last clothing bin might have delivered one of our greatest clothing grails we've ever got at the Goodwill bins. I'm still uncertain of whether or not it actually is vintage, but we're gonna talk about that in just a bit. First, let's go over all like the toys and plushies that we ended up grabbing. So we got some Pokemon plushies here, nothing crazy. They're all like kind of small. This one is probably the best one we've sold uh, poncho pikachus before we've sold like mario pikachus and uh we sold that mario pikachu for like almost over a hundred dollars so that's why we actually grabbed this because it is one piece it's kind of a collaboration as well so i thought it might be a little little value but honestly it looks like it only sells for like 25 bucks we grabbed uh, some mega blocks halo figure because uh, these do sell for us on ebay from time to time we grabbed uh, some more lego stuff unfortunately it's just lego friends which is definitely the least desirable lego franchise out there we grabbed us uh, <laughs> Failed garage sale stuff. Here are some uh, Lego Duplo pieces. They're gonna sell us for one dollar, which is actually not a horrible price for this amount. But you know, at the bins, we probably paid the same price to be honest, around a dollar for this. We also grab these because we always need bubble mailers for shipping. These are really good for like cheaper video games, books, or media like DVDs and Blu-rays. So not bad. We're definitely paying cheaper than the dollar store for this. So really happy about that because we always need shipping supplies for us. And uh, we actually grabbed. A nice starter vintage 2000. Someone actually had this and put it back. I was watching them because that's happened before where I got a vintage uh, Hoyas Georgetown snapback and it was because someone had it and they put it down. I, I watched them put it down and I made sure that it wasn't just an accident. So I waited for him to see if he hesitated. I'm like, all right, boop, and just grabbed it. Nice starter, not bad dead stock condition as well. The right hat right there. Uh, this is one of the later models. So early 2000s, obviously 2000, not bad. We also grabbed a few clothing items. This is a nice single stitch all over print. Part-time golf Idaho shirt here, not bad. I really wish it didn't have this. <laughs> if it didn't have that, and it just had the all over print uh, golf kind of landscape with the uh, golfer right there, doing a nice little strike on the ball. I mean, that would be a lot cooler. This is weird. My wife found this. She actually found all the good clothing scores apart from uh, the hat. Arc'teryx. She was about to put this back. She said, what the heck? Arc'teryx. This is one of the more expensive brands out there for sure. Unfortunately, it's not one of the items that sells for a lot. Uh, if you found like an Arc'teryx jacket, you could be looking at like $500 if it's really good condition, depending on what the jacket is, even used. Uh, newer ones can go up to almost a thousand. So not bad at all, but this was the score of the day, maybe? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below. So, now, so first I was like, I don't know if it's vintage because we've never seen vintage Tupac, any wrap tees like that. Most band shirts I find at the bins are not vintage, but uh, as you can see, it is double stitch. It almost looks single stitch, but it's double stitch. But this is from 1996 and it's also double stitch. So that doesn't necessarily mean it's not vintage. So that is one thing to consider. Also, when we were researching the shirts, all the ones that didn't have like the bottom, was it the bottom or the top text? Okay, and those are the cheaper right? ones, right? Yeah. yeah. So the more expensive ones actually had the same layout as this. So this either is a bootleg, which it's very possible it could be, or this actually is a vintage Tupac shirt. There's no date or anything on this. It looks like it's a men's medium because this, I think, is a large or extra large. If you put it on me like this, yeah, it's like a medium boxy fit. Not bad, uh, honestly. You could be talking about a $300 plus dollar tee based on the condition of this. It doesn't have a tag, but there's no crazy distressing on here or anything like that. It's front and back as well. Someone actually put this back. My wife was beside the woman who put this back 
and my wife is like, well, she doesn't really know much because there was another vintage single stitch long sleeve shirt. And then there was also another vintage Timberland shirt. That's why I, I'm kind of leaning on the side that this is vintage because if you have all three vintage shirts or other two vintage shirts in the same section, like literally in the same pile, what are the chances that this isn't vintage? Right? I don't know. Maybe I'm talking crazy, but let me know down below in the comment section if you believe that this is a vintage Tupac Resurrection t-shirt. Let me know down below in the comment section because this could be uh, maybe our greatest clothing score ever. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you are new to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. But remember, may your carts always be full.